The nub for me is the joy of wrong. So if I see an album and I just go, oh, I can't believe that exists, that's what I buy. Now this, Footy Favourites, is actually footballers singing their favourite songs. This one is The Cousins, uh, which is a, a Tasmanian all-cousin Christian singing group. Beautiful young ladies there. Don't be nice to her. It could turn to love. John Laws is pretty much my favourite talent. And uh, this is an album of his personal poetry called In Love is an Expensive Place to Die. I don't even know what that means. And this is Bernard King, a man of style. Love this. Is style. Last year I did a comedy festival show called The Needle and the Damaged Tongue. Essentially I got to show the album covers off and uh, play some of the music. There's a definite shock through some sections of the show where people can't believe how um, sexist or racist we used to be. Probably my favourite is a John Laws record with three scantily clad women who are servicing his every need. One of them's even cleaning his shoes and it's called You've Never Been Trucked Like This Before. Now that's gold. Records are a really amazing artefact because of their size and because I think of the times they're represented. It's not just straight out going, oh, look, people used to wear flares. How stupid is that album cover? You know, there's a whole journey you go through, uh, through the different ways in which um, music can appall or the way that people's egos got in the way and made them put out albums they should never have put out. He hit me and it felt like a kiss. Now this, as far as I'm concerned, is the worst record ever recorded in the history of the world. It is the Shag's philosophy of the world. Yes, they are all women. And they were a 1970s all-girl Christian garage band. Frank Zappa described them as being better than the Beatles. You be the judge of that. My album was always like 